What's up guys, Sio here with a brand new project. Um, I'm gonna be perfectly honest and say I've actually never played this game at all before. Um, I've actually never even seen past this title screen. Um, but I've been lurking in a couple of uh, Super Mario World ROM hack runners lately. Um, there's streams on Twitch and stuff at work. Um, and this ROM hack has been like pretty heavily recommended by a couple of different people. Um, so I kinda wanna check it out and see what it has in store. Um, I specifically wanted to, um, I specifically wanted to get a ROM hack, um, on the channel that was a little bit more, uh, Kaizo Mario related. Um, for those of you that don't know, Kaizo Mario is basically a game type, <laughs> kind of like that, I guess. It's a game type where, uh, the game is pretty much out to get you at every single turn, but it kind of almost turns it into an intense, like, platforming puzzle where, like right there, all I had to do was actually run left, but there's no way I'm going to know that the first time, so it just looks like I get swarmed all over. Um, this hack seems to be based around Luigi's Time to Shine, which is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, this ROM hack, I have no idea what it looks like. Um, pretty cool overworld, I guess. Um, but I've been pretty recommended to it uh, by a couple of different people, so I kind of want to check it out. Um, Sorry, chap. Well, that's not nice. I love Yoshi. But, uh, I'm a little rusty when it comes to Mario World, so I'm probably going to be dying a lot <laughs> as a heads up in this playthrough. I don't expect to be very good at this game because it is uh, Kaizo Light. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty good introduction to some of the trickier uh, Mario hacks out there. Um, but let's just go ahead and dive in and see how many times we die. Alright, <laughs> we, we dodged the first trap because I was curious, so that's good. Um, so it looks like, I'm actually not reading this text and trying to go a little bit farther, it looks like what I'm going to have to do is jump over this wall that's behind the text box and bounce off the Goomba. So let's try to do that really quick. Okay. Does this come back? Uh, I think I might have fucked this up. <laughs> I think I was supposed to catch that as it was running over. Oh, nice, cool. Okay, um, I was actually wondering if I had a quick retry feature, because... <laughs> Dodge it the first time, died of it the second time. I was wondering if I had a quick retry feature, because a couple of Kaizo hacks don't. Uh, but this is actually, like, an upgrade from Mario um, World. Uh, one of the cool things about Super Mario World ROM hacking is that it's been around for so long that it's actually pretty advanced, honestly, for most games. Um, and there's a lot of, like, different scripts and stuff that are out there. Um, if I remember, I'll try to link SMW Central in the... Um, link below because that's where I got this ROM hack from um, but basically people have pretty much patched everything into this game and it's pretty cool uh, and it's kind of taken it into cool custom game territory I guess um, so this jumps not the easiest but one of the things that you need to do when you're playing Kaizo stuff um, is kind of look ahead of you and try to gain as much information as you can on every life because you don't always know when you're gonna get back there um, and once you get there, you kind of need to know what's in store. Um, so before I click retry, I'm actually going to um, explain what's off to the right, which looks like it's just a spin jump down onto that red piranha plant and three of those munchers onto the ground off to the right. Um, that saves me kind of having to figure out what to do blind, which is kind of nice. <laughs> oh, and one of the <laughs> funny things, uh, at least in at least for the viewers, I guess, um, when it comes to quote-unquote Kaizo hacks, um, are Kaizo blocks, which are those invisible coin blocks that kind of pop up in the middle of jumps to make um, jumps that look like they're really easy a little bit harder. Um, that's the first of many, I assure you, that we'll see um, for sure. Um, but that's the first one I've hit in this hack, so that's fun. So the reason those uh, Kaizo blocks are there, by the way, is to make jumps that are otherwise a little simple looking, um, to increase their difficulty a little bit. Um, it's a little bit of artificial difficulty spike in my opinion, since you kind of have to die to it to know that it's there. Um, but it normally is kind of funny because they can normally troll you pretty well with it. Um, Alright, so it looks like it's going to be three little bounces off of that guy if I get there fast, and then running down below the bullets. To wait a little bit for this guy to get far enough over, apparently. Um, that was the problem I was having on those couple of lives. 
And then I bounce four times. And then duck under. I didn't actually have to duck to clear that. Um, so it looks like this next part is going to be bouncing off of the top bullet bill and then the bottom bullet bill underneath it. Um, this is another kind of common trick in Kaizo stuff. <laughs> and I obviously uh, still am not very good at it. So that should show you how much experience I have with Kaizo lately. Um, but before I restart, it looks like there's a continuous drop of spinies into a pretty small gap, honestly. Um, there's also munchers on the ceiling, which is interesting. I'm probably going to have to go up right after that, I would guess. Okay, so good news is... Um, I'm a little bit more consistent at the part in the beginning, and I also got all the way up to here, which means that I'm going to have to bounce a little bit more off of that bullet bill than I did that time. Um, I tried to just ride that bullet bill straight in and not actually jump off of it at all because I figured with the low clearing I might actually need to do that, um, but it looks like it's a little bit tighter than that. Before I retry, it looks like the next part is the spot where I can catch myself, and then I have to basically quickly jump off of those five turn blocks that are right there. Um, for those of you that don't know, basically that block, um, it's like that block in the middle and then it expands two out to the side and then it contracts in and then it goes two to the top and then contracts in. Um, so I obviously have to hit it when it's off to the side like it is right now um, and then jump up. Odds are there's gonna be a Kaizo block. Um, to, oh no, never mind. It's a little bit more complicated of a jump than that anyway. Um, so I have to jump around that muncher and then onto the ground above. Sounds doable, actually. It's tricky, but it's definitely doable. <laughs> Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. And then shallow jump, wait for the bullet bills, don't jump right into them like I always do. And then you have to do like a little bounce. I'm still trying to figure this part out, but it looks like it's a bounce either off of the back of the bullet bill or more of a jump. Um, given how it's timed out every single time I get over here, it looks like it might be a bounce off the back of the bullet bill. So I'll give that a shot on this part, hopefully. I'll just wait for the next ones. <laughs> okay. So, do I even need the second one? I kind of feel like I'm trying to bounce off the second one because I know that's what I'm like supposed to do, but I wonder if I can just make it. One, two, three, four, five. Is this easier with the spin jump? Yeah, that's a lot easier with the spin jump. Okay. <laughs> it's also a lot easier if I don't just jump straight into those, but that's okay. Um, so one of the nice things about spin jumping versus regular jumping in Mario World uh, that you may not know if you haven't played it in a while. Um, okay, so it is just the one that goes straight across. Um, damn, that's a little bit trickier than I thought it was going to be. Um, and then, by the way, after this, I'm going to have to spiny bounce across this gap of munchers, and then I'm assuming there's going to be a checkpoint after that, because that kind of feels like the spot for a checkpoint, if not one more obstacle after that. Um, but for those of you that don't know, I guess I'll try to explain a little bit more as I'm going through on this. Um, jumping in Mario World, there's two different ways you can jump. Uh, there's regular jumping and spin jumping. Um, spin jumping is better if you're trying to ride enemies that are invulnerable or you need to get less of a clearance on a gap um, and then regular jumps are better for if you need to get height or if you need to bounce off of enemies like goombas and stuff um, or bullet bills i guess um, but the reason this is important is because kaizo hack specifically um, because the regular mario world didn't really make you do it that much um, at least to the level that kaizo hacks do um, Kaizo hacks make you kind of force um, spin jumps or regular jumps in like a variety of situations and stuff. Um, but you can also use them like I did just back there to make um, tight gaps and stuff a little bit easier to manage. Um, I was actually kind of surprised I got that fall in there the first try because it's a little hard because that muncher kills you, obviously. <laughs> 
Um, so you have to kind of like swing around the back, kind of like I did there, but on the way down for the next obstacle. So winging a mess. Okay, so we're back here again. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I would have liked. Um, so I think I'm going to have to hold run this time because I wasn't doing that last time. Um, and another tricky thing with Mario World is that holding run when you jump actually does quite a lot. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is get a... Okay, so that was more of what I had to do. Um, you have to get a little bit more of a running start than I did last time on the bottom block to get just enough clearance over this muncher. Um, this is by far the tightest jump of the hack so far. I know I'm not very far in, but the rest of the jumps have been fairly light, I'd say, all things considered. So jump, run, ah, uh, that, come on. So one of the hardest parts about this jump is that you can't just like hold right and kind of trust that you'll make around it. Like you have to make a full swing around this entire tile in order to dodge this muncher. Um, pretty tricky honestly like it'd be a little bit easier if I had a little bit more running room but that muncher at the bottom of the exit thing makes it a little bit harder um, to get much running room without just killing yourself ah, that was so close okay the only thing that sucks about this is you really don't have very much time I might need to jump onto this platform as it's extending out get as close as I can and get a good running swing around this um, this is a fun jump, actually, uh, to try to figure out. Uh, it's pretty technical, but it's, like, definitely manageable. <sighs> God damn it, seriously? I don't know how you're supposed to do much better than that. I thought I was, like, right up on it. Um, actually, thinking about it now, do I need to use the forward momentum I could be getting from it pushing out? If so, I've never actually seen this in a Mario World hack before, and that's pretty cool. So, I'm pretty sure this jump uh, that I've been having trouble with before the spiny hop is actually a little bit more technical than I thought it was going to be at first. Um, at first, I thought it was just a tight jump um, through these turn block things. Um, and then I thought I had to basically get running momentum. Why did I wait that time? <laughs> but, um, but then I thought I had to get running momentum basically as it was fully extended and then try to run off before it closed in. But now I'm thinking I actually have to wait until it's spreading out like it is right now and basically hop on, use that momentum as it's pushing out to swing me just a little bit more forward to be able to get onto the cement block. Um, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but I imagine it is just because that's the only other thing I can think to do right there. Um, it would also explain uh, why he's using those blocks specifically, I guess. Because one of the cool things about um, Kaizo hacks and stuff is that you do have to kind of figure out why the level creator is using certain items in certain spots. So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think this is it. No, it didn't really do anything, but I also didn't really jump on it at the right time. Okay, cool. We're up here. Um, so now I gotta wait for the spiny to come back and basically tiny spiny bounce off of this. Um, I can't actually hold jump or I'll jump into the munchers at the top. Um, so I have to hope that this comes back. Can I screen scroll? You back? Okay, good. Whew. Okay, so I got a good speed, although it's gonna fall now. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna have to bounce off this Goomba as it's like a past the half, or like at the halfway point, actually. I don't wanna go past, cause then I'm gonna have to try to clip onto the muncher here. Um, I'm actually gonna pause this, cause I didn't realize how low the timer was and I don't wanna time out at a bad spot. Um, So I want to jump off of this Goomba, possibly as he's on his way back, and I'm not sure if that really matters too much, but hop off of there. Uh, I'm going to assume there's a Kaizo block on the way 
up to the ledge just because that seems like too tiny <laughs> too free of a jump otherwise um, and then just a loop around again but catching myself before the muncher off to the right and then I don't know what so let's wait for him to come back okay and then okay um, I'm pretty sure if I'm on this pipe that piranha plant will not launch up at me Okay, and I only have one shot at this, so this looks like a spin jump down. I'm not as comfortable with my spin jump downs, but I'm pretty sure it's just... Okay, and then I... F <laughs> uh, okay, so I was doing really well and then decided to just kind of nope it, it the easiest part by far of that entire thing um so i'm assuming that there's a checkpoint or possibly just the goal after that because this is kind of a long level but i'm really feeling it so far okay i didn't have as good of a rhythm that time uh the first time i got onto him i managed to actually just kind of ride him at the exact same speed and it looked kind of cool <laughs> Uh, that time I kind of just kept going too fast or too slow and once you're like not on the right rhythm with those spinies It's really hard to catch up so you'll normally just end up like off to one side of them all the time <laughs> I'm actually kind of dumb. I could have just completely rode this one. I didn't need to screen scroll. I just haven't actually one shot of that yet Okay, so I didn't actually confirm or deny if there was a Kaizo block in there, but I jumped too early because that was on Muncher 2 instead of on Muncher 3. So I'd need to wait until he's like running on Muncher 2 before I jump down. Bounce, 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 okay. And then jump off of him. God damn it, it's still too late, okay. So it looks like bouncing off of that guy is actually like starting a shallow full hop, like not holding down the jump button, but just like jumping but holding down the run button. This is more notes for me than for you guys, I guess. Um, as I fall down, as it's on number three, I guess I kind of just hope there's not a Kaizo block. Um, <laughs> Because my girlfriend's on her way home and I gotta help her get dinner soon. And this may be a, an awkward two part video where I just cut it after like a random amount of lives because I ran out of real life time to record. For some reason. It seems like for some reason when you don't just go with that one um, it ends up being a lot harder than just kind of rolling with it and hoping that you end up getting it such as this jump I think okay can I not die this time okay so what's coming up here just a Koopa bounce I need to screen scroll and see where I'm playing it. okay Fuck, there's a checkpoint right there. Okay, I got it. I have to get the checkpoint at least before I leave. <laughs> okay, so good level design 101. Right when the player's starting to feel a little burnt out on a level is where you want to put a checkpoint. Because then that means that the player's going to keep playing your level in order to keep trying to get to the checkpoint because they know that they've already got the skills, so why burn it out and then not even see anything from it, I guess. Bounce, bounce, wait for you. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that that's the first time I've died on that.
Alright, so I'm finally back here again. It's taken a while, but I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to jump on this guy as he's, like, right here. Cool! I made it! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here, because <laughs> it's taken a while. Um, so thank you guys. Um, that's my girlfriend reading out in the background. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with her now. So see you guys for episode 2 later, where I finish the rest of this level, but have a good one.